What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back into Chase Games here. And today, uh, I think I'll call this one, well, you probably know what I'm going to call it already because it's in the title. Um, let's go with like advanced tips for new players, okay? Uh, some of these are still kind of pretty beginnerish, um, but this is, you know, this is after like you've re rolled, after you've gone through story, etc. Uh, with the exception of number one, this is something I think I forgot to mention in other pla places, and, um, it's not just good for beginners, and, um, here's the thing, uh, your A ranks, use your A ranks, okay, they're actually important, um, it really doesn't take long to get at least one decent arena team ready, and you're probably gonna want A ranks there, one or two, possibly, sometimes, uh, not always, um, and as far as going through the story, um, you can get enough orbs without going and grinding reminiscence um, without having to buy them especially um, now granted it's not too hard to go through reminiscence and get extra orbs but you can actually go through the story at a, a pretty natural play, uh, pace uh, getting one or two orbs from an event sometimes it's easier than others you know there's almost always one in the shop um, sometimes there's another really easy one to get, but, uh, you get a couple through the story and you're going to get some for mini medals. If you're, if you're playing smartly, if you're playing smartly and following my other advice, um, cause I literally just did this anyway, if you've got a party of five S ranks, you're not going to have enough orbs for them. Yeah. That's when you have to go and start digging through reminiscence and stuff. Um, and then you're going to be going through with S fives and, uh, S sixes when you could have had a couple of, uh, when you could have had three S ranks, uh, faster, uh, ranked, like, you know, hitting six, seven, uh, and eight faster, if you just brought some A ranks with you, and they are probably, uh, they're a lot easier to hit, uh, rank six and seven, so, um, use A ranks, um, prioritize ones that have battle roads, etc., but I think you guys know that already, if you're watching this advanced new players tips video. Okay. Um, now, right now, if you're watching this video right away, it's the 25th of October, okay? The, uh, Blossom Doors reset on the first of the month, but at the daily reset, so, you know, November 1st at 4 p.m. East Coast time, um, is when the, uh, door will reset for me. Um, there are, it, it Blossom Doors are some of the more advanced content in this game. They're one of the more rewarding things, too, because that's what blocks the majority of Blossom materials, okay? That can turn old crappy units uh, into new strong stuff. Really, really relevant stuff. Um, but here's the thing. The first couple are really easy. They literally get gradually harder for the most part, okay? You could probably do most of the first 10 easily uh, in your first month. Um, if you follow my advice and you're, you know, like, going right through and stuff... Um, you might be able to get into the teens or even twenties, depending on when you started, what you've got. Um, yeah, your box can matter a lot. Yeah, your box, your, well, your box will matter a lot. Um, but the first 10 or so, pretty easy to do. So, especially if you haven't touched them or if you haven't tried in a week or so near the end of the month, you know, the 30th, 31st, go back into the blossom doors and try a couple more. Okay. Uh, everyone's important and, uh, you also, it's, it's minor, it's 50 gems. Okay. But every time you clear that door every month, you're going to be able to get that again next month. So if you can clear 10 doors every month, you get, um, you can, well, you'd get 250 gems and then you can earn back another 250. Uh, the blossom doors set you back five doors every month, but if you did it once, it's usually pretty easy to repeat. So anyway, yeah, just, um, don't think that the blossom doors are too hard for you. Do as many as you can. Um, and they end up actually being a significant, uh, source of gems on the first two. So, uh, a little more, uh, motivation. Now, I still get teased for not knowing this, um, <laughs> for a few months into the game. Um, I'm not going to bring it up in battle, uh, sorry, because I don't edit and that's just going to make this video take way too long. But, um, if you notice in battle, when you look at, um, the life bar of an enemy unit, uh, when you select it with an attack... Um, you'll notice, it, just look for this real quick, you'll, you'll notice it. So, if your attack would take the unit out, granted, it does not, 
it's weird with multi hits and um, uh, evasion and stuff like that. It's not going to co uh, count in evasion, so it doesn't mean a guaranteed kill. But in normal circumstances, barring a miss, if you are aiming at an enemy and you see a small coffin, okay, small coffin uh, at the left side of the life bar, okay, that means that that shot should kill the unit, okay. Um, if, okay, now once you're used to this, okay, if you see that it wipes out their HP bar, but you don't see that coffin, that means they're going to have just a teeny weeny little bit of HP. Uh, so that's very important to know, okay. Obviously you could still crit, but that's a really low chance, so know if you're going to kill it or not. Um, now this is definitely getting a little bit more advanced. You know, when you're going, I mean, this is still simple, but when you're going through story and hard mode for the first time don't worry about experience okay it's just passive uh you've got experience from scrolls you've got um uh hopefully a lot of members of your team are in, in a battle road you can start with a team that is all uh lovable in battle roads depending on the time and event um and it can be a very good party uh, i just did it myself Ur urdrick's got a battle road the banner a rank is in that battle road uh robin Ood is in the battle road uh, until the 27th, the gold is, event is up. Two battle, uh, two A ranks are in that battle road. Although I found the golden globe to kind of suck. Um, but yeah, so um, you can level all those things for free. So the experience they get in story mode, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but here's the thing: once you get to a certain point, once you've ground out all of hard mode and all of story mode, you want to start taking advantage of that experience. So. If you do get a shiny new unit that's in a battle road, don't put that into your, um, you, you'll have a grind team, okay? You can even have multiple grind teams. I do, okay? I've got one for the easiest content. Uh, sometimes I have one that I use just for my experience dailies to get an easy, you know, what is it, 30,000 experience? Uh, 40? I can't recall. 30. Um... You know, because they're not strong enough to do anything. Maybe I've got low uh, weight, uh, low weight units, and they really are pretty much worthless. I'll put those on uh, a skip only team. You know, you can have a skip only team, and a medium team, and then um, you can have your, you know, e even your big boy team that just isn't leveled yet, and they don't have battle roads. That's that's what I'm doing right now. I've got three different leveling teams, uh, depending on the difficulty of content I need to take on. Um, so yeah, try not to, once you are through, okay, once you're done grinding, okay, once you're doing things a lot more casually, um, try not to waste experience, okay? So, the only exception is, uh, you do get, uh, talent points for Blossom, uh, skills, um, anywhere you use stamina, so there is some use for stamina, uh, leveling, um, on Talent Blossom units, but there's other choices to get those and I would myself I would personally prioritize actually leveling things but I prefer working on my box than you know getting my best units a teeny teeny bit stronger so that could be bad advice it's up to you okay <laughs> if you are a long time RPG player uh, you've played a lot of games and um I think it's fair to say that in most RPG status conditions just don't work. That is something that happens to you. It's not something you, not something you do. Okay. Well, you could land poison on mobs and maybe do some crap damage to them. No, uh, status conditions in this game actually work if, if you can apply them. Um, the first couple months of this game, you could actually poison bosses, and it was usually a really good way to take them down. It was usually too good a way to take them down, so they got rid of that. Uh, there was a unit that actually let you, uh, you would cheat. They would make the boss immune to poison, but they actually made a unit where his leader skill was you can reduce the resistance to poison, even if it's full immunity. So now they just give them perks that say, uh, no, status conditions don't work instead of the weaknesses and resistances like your normal units have. However... Even if you're on stages with boss units, and not all tough stages have boss units, okay? Um, they've got, they have adds that can be poisoned. They have adds that can be slept, uh, paralyzed, confused, etc. Um, one of the best units in the game is Malroth, 
right now, especially for Blossom Doors. So, yeah, and some of these Blossom Doors, they will have a big bad boss unit that you're worried about. Um, but you can take care of two or three of the adds uh, by sleeping and poisoning them at the same time. And then they're basically done, you know? Um... I've made other videos where I talk about how to land status conditions, so that's it's very important, but um, just don't ignore that. So, look, you know, if you got a unit with, like, crap HP, crap agility, uh, and stuff like that, if all it does is lay on a status condition with a low chance, and maybe it does uh, a little bit of damage, that, that's not anything. But, you know, things that can basically guarantee a status condition uh, have a very high chance over an AoE, uh, especially if they're agile, you usually need agility on something that you want to be laying um, status uh, conditions with, um, especially in PvP. Um, they can be really good units, so keep keep your eye out, okay? I know a few months ago I underestimated Damselfly, and I only took it to like four hearts, and I think I, I, I do wish that I probably took that to five hearts, because it's really good at confusing. It's a lot faster than I thought it'd be. I didn't really look at it because I was being dumb. Um, just didn't really care. Uh, anyway, just, um, know that status conditions actually work. Um, and sometimes they're, if you want to do well in PvP, you're going to have to use status conditions. It's not even, it's mandatory. It's mandatory. So just get used to that. They, they do matter in this game. Okay. Get the mini medals. I mentioned this other places. Okay. Get the mini medals. Let's look at them. Um. They do come slowly in the beginning. I know it's on this page. Why do I always go away? Um, okay. You see... Okay. I've been a little bit lazy because they get tougher to... The, the, the newest ones added are always kind of a pain to get. And I'm just lazy. Um, although, that's probably not a bad helmet. Um, anywho. Um, so, yeah. You see, up until 25... Honestly, they don't really matter until 45, and that's going to take you a while. You'll beat the main, uh, the, the first 15 chapters of story. Probably even the first 18, okay? But you will get there eventually, okay? And once you get to a certain part in the game, they start coming a lot faster. Uh, you're going to be able to go and get them from your rank-up missions. They're fairly easy to do. Um, by the way, the ones that say uh, uh, you have to complete with demon only, you have to complete with uh, dragon only... First of all, you only have to do those mission requirements once, not all at the same time. So, even if you lose units or take forever, as long as you beat it one time with dragons only, you get that that thing. Also, don't be intimidated or like, oh, I only got like two dragons in my box. Um, well, if they're leveled up and they're strong ones like A ranks or something, you might be able to do that stage. So, if you've been leveling things up on battle roads, um, that will help. So, yeah, e even one strong S rank can solo some of those stages now. So, um, just, uh, just give it a shot. Um, e even the weaker units, if you've got, like, one good family unit, like, one good demon, and you got some fodder ones, well, they can be fodder. So, get those, um, uh, the equipment stages have mini medals for doing 500 plus damage. Uh, anybody with half a brain can do that with almost anything, uh, rank 5 or higher now. Um, let me see. Uh, and then the, uh, yeah, the uh, the ones from the ability stages are a little bit tougher, but I only say a little bit tougher because the last time I had a new player, uh, like, I just finished leveling up a new player account, and it would have been hard for me to do, but I literally wasn't leveling any of my abilities or anything like that, so I only had rank 5s and some rank 6 S's, uh, A's, rather, so. Um, anyway, I just would have had to re... Uh, put time and effort into it, uh, time and resources, rather, and I didn't feel like it. I got bored of it. Um, but they're all actually pretty easy to do. You have to deal 999 damage on the tome missions. Um, so once you get things to max level, it's really, really easy, and even before then, it's really not that bad. Okay. This is... This is a, a, a short way to say something longer. Uh, know the value of your gems, okay? Um... This is uh, about sta uh, stamina, okay? Uh, using gems for stamina. Sometimes it's good. Usually it's bad, okay? Uh, farming lower weight units, uh, lower rank units, rather. Um, some of them are good. You generally want to farm all the A's to completion and all the S's. 
but each event will only throw two or three of the, these at you in general. Um, everything else, B, C, Ds, Es, Fs, they don't, they very, very, very rarely matter. Um, now, there are exceptions, of course, and pay attention. You know, going to the communities, people will talk about what's good to farm at lower weights. Um, but, um, you know, if you want to be spending 40 refreshes a day, or, sorry, uh, 40 gems per refresh, okay, like four times a day, a lot of people in this community will tell you, okay, you should always do your first four refreshes because they're the best value and you get a lot of use out of them, okay? Well, let me, uh, let me bring this up. That's not what I want to slide over. Uh, we'll just put that one there, okay? 40 times four, okay? I, this is hard, I know. 160, 160 gems per day when you're doing four refreshers. Great value, right? Okay. Well, what about when you, uh, what about when you do it every day in a month? Well, like people tell you to. That's 4,800 gems, okay? They add up fast, and again, this is just four, okay? Um, if you go up to the next stage where you're paying um, 60, I, I believe it's 60, right? It goes 40, 60, 100, um, 60 times four. Okay, that's 240 plus the 160, okay? This is where the numbers get scary, okay? Times 30. Okay. That's 12,000 gems a month, okay? Yeah, I did that right. Yeah. Um, it's That's a lot. You're spending... Um, you're spending four multis every month, okay? Four-tenths of a stamp card. 40% of a stamp card right there. Just for, multi, uh, just for extra refreshes. It is... Yeah, no, it's 400... Yeah, God, I forgot it was that high. I've done this math before. God, that's stupid. Yeah, but e like I said, even fo even 40... Uh, even 40 a day, okay, is 4,800 a month. Um, gosh, I just have no idea why people would do that. Um, I'm, I'm literally... I forgot that it was 12,000 gem gems a month to do eight refreshes. I did that for a long time, boys and girls. Um, what are you getting... What are you getting? You're... <laughs> you're getting extra awakenings on crap units that aren't going to do anything for you. The ones where the awakenings are important will generally be obvious after you've played for a while. So don't get into this trap. When you're brand new, okay, when you're progressing through story and maybe you're trying to finish off an event because you started a week or two before it's ending, do your four gem refreshes, okay? They, they're good. They're, they're worth it. Um, but because you do get, look, uh, you do get access to more resources the faster you progress through the game. So go ahead and use your gem refreshes the first week or so. After that, though, like I said, think about what you're getting with those gems. Um, just think about what gems do for you. They get you new units, okay? Do you want extra awakenings on D units, or would you rather have a chance at more uh, gotcha units, more um, more spotlights? Okay, because if if forty eight hundred gems a month doesn't seem that big to you, well, that's only a multi and a half. I don't care. You know, everything takes so many multis. You know, that's really not that much, and I get value out of it. Well, what about every six months? Okay, if you do that. Every day for six months, that's 28,800 gems, and that's just for the value refreshes. Do you know what we get every six months that you can use that on? That's literally two full. It's 30,000 gems, okay? You're just shy of two full 48-hour banners. Does getting those extra awakenings on D-Ranks matter that much now? No, I don't think so. Um, things that I will uh, do that on... Uh, one of the rarer things in this game is gold. Uh, you see, I actually have a little bit now. Um, there are a lot of players that would laugh at that amount, but um, everything in this game costs gold, okay? Uh, just about everything, so uh, gold will limit you a lot. So if there is... Um, I know that when we uh, just had this double gold on the gold weekend, um, I used gems there. Um, I don't know if that was the... I've heard that there's some alternative sources that might have been better but also you get to check boxes in your missions tab when you do the gold weekend dungeon so i just really need to justify that to myself to you guys anyway um 
There are some things. Triple rank up mats. We don't have one of those right now. We have a double, but triple rank up mats, depending on your stockpile, might be a good time to do refreshes. It's up to you, okay? So just, just remember that when you use gems for things, that is less spotlight units that you get to do, okay? What did I, what did I mean by this one? I hmm. I know. I just did this list. What is it? This is so vague. Oh right, hard difficulty stages, ex fights and the like. Okay, um, there are going to be some some uh, fights in this game that are they're bullshit. They are bullshit, okay? Um, and sometimes they actually do lock some pretty decent rewards behind them, okay? But sometimes those rewards are only decent because the game is pretty stingy in a lot of places. Our, our resources kind of trickle in, you know? Like, they, they think that a, 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 a bajillion hour delay was worth one and a half multis, or sorry, one and a half singles worth of gems. Thank you. But that's also one of the better uh, apologies they've ever given us, so people shit their pants. Um, anyway, there are something EX battles. They give you an icon, which doesn't mean a damn thing at all. There's a bajillion of them in-game, and nobody tracks them. Okay, So you get an icon, um, usually a little bit of uh, event currency. It's a nice little chunk, but event currency is really easy to get. And then you will get 50 up to 80 gems because they often will still have um 10 gem uh mission requirements that are <laughs> that's that's so useless um so if you want to do these things okay you are going to be looking at maybe ranking up units that you weren't going to yet uh or ever uh leveling up abilities on units that you won't use anywhere else uh so this is gold resources uh stamina you know a, a whole bunch of things gold did I say that? Um, to get 50 gems, maybe 60 or 70. By the way, if it's tough, you're not getting all 80. <laughs> Probably not. But let's say it's 80. 80 gems. 80 gems and an icon, maybe a thousand event currency. Is it worth it? No, it's not. I'm just talking about EXs here. Uh, there are some hard things in this game. Um, sometimes they lock an orb behind them. Uh, a lot of times those things come back though, so don't beat yourself up too much. Uh, now, I will warn you, not everything that rewards gem or uh, orbs in an event comes back. So far, giant boss battles haven't come back. Um, certain towers haven't come back. That, they, that was just gems. Um, but they literally just didn't want to let old players get access to up to 2,000 gems that weren't even really worth the time. Yep, that's another thing. Uh, the value of gems and is it worth it? Back in the day when I was spending a lot more... There was something called the Dragon Tower, and it was 40 floors, maybe 50, whatever, bite me, I don't, I don't care. Um, this is the thing I, I mentioned that didn't come back. There was no big prize at the top, okay? Every door was just, uh, every floor was 50 gems, and then 10 to 30 more in, um, the extra missions. Um, so I think I got to, I think I had like, uh, let's say 20 doors left, 20 floors, whatever. Um giving a max of uh, 1600 gems probably closer to a thousand I don't even know if they had missions actually it may have only been I think it was only 50 gems a door so it was a thousand gems and it would have taken hours because it got past the point where I could do it on auto um, and I just thought about it and uh, at the time I was working 70 plus hours a week being a truck driver um, I'm just on a little break right now and I thought about it and I'm like I could spend hours on doing this or I could just say I'll buy a thousand gems. Some players, this is ludicrous. I know if you're free to play, that's good. This game is an addiction. Be careful spending money, okay? When you do it once, uh, it becomes more addictive. It's called, uh, I think they call it a first time conversion, okay? Literally, a flip switches in your head. I've spent on this game. It's okay. I'm invested, okay? <laughs> Invest. Um, so, anyway, I'm not telling people to spend money, but. <laughs> 
if you do, just be careful about how much effort, how much in-game scarce resources you're putting into things that just don't matter that much, okay? Well, let's see. There's, of course, ten things on this list. This is, this is top ten, okay? Uh, <laughs> I wanted to keep this one line. Most things need a heart, um, if that doesn't mean anything. Do you remember that when... Um, the wrong thing. When things get an awakening, they get a little heart icon. That's what we mean. So, um, sometimes, uh, you know, we'll say, like, oh, that's at one heart, that's at three hearts. Um, I say stars sometimes by mistake, and I think most people will know that a lot of gotchas will refer to things as stars. And I don't know how common this is. Something that's fully awakened, I'll call rainbowed. That might just be a Doken thing. Um, anyway, um, there are. That's not where I want to scroll. I'm using the mouse one. I got to do it in the game. Uh, let me see. Neljol is one I've been told by whales. I wouldn't know. Um, but um, Neljol is not very good at zero awakening. Uh, or even at one, honestly. But at five, okay, uh, this guy becomes quite strong. Um, Terry's probably a better example. Okay. I have no hearts on him, no awakenings. Uh, and you can look at his perks here. And... Um, his first heart will, uh, his first awakening will give him move plus one, okay? So without it, he's only two. For the most part, okay, anything that gets its third movement on, um, on an awakening, you know, like a physical unit, uh, if they don't have it, they're probably useless. Now, if you're a brand new player and you've got, like, ten units in your box and none of them are awakened, well, sure, it changes the math a little bit. Um, but, um, you should probably be in a Discord where people are telling you, like I said, this Mortigan unit's only a few months old. He might not be too bad. He's not. He's not very good. But I don't have an awakening on him. So, what's him? What's his given? Is it movement? Oh, okay. So this guy doesn't get more movement, but he does get a big damage negation ability. So this guy is a little bit more usable unawakened. But you know that first awakening is really strong, and that's factored into his kit. So. Uh, what I'm saying is the, the vast majority of units um, are factored into having one heart because it's relatively easy to buy their first awakening. Now, you can't do that for everything, but, you know, um, pay attention to what's coming out in the future, uh, either by just paying attention to what I tell you, um, or, um, you know, you can go read the JP Twitter. That's We're only three months behind now, so... Uh, or the DQT uh, database that has a, a list of upcoming units. That's the best way to do it. Um, we're only three months behind now, so it's really not that many patterns behind for us. Um, so anyway, playing your fragments out, that's another tip there. You got a plus one. Uh, number ten, when to use herbs. Okay, just stamina items in general. Okay, let's go back. Uh, now, you can always see these. Um, uh, if you see the... Uh, let me see. How do I pull this up? Um, okay, there we go, I'm gonna have my mouse up there. The little uh, plus sign, okay, the white button next to your stamina, okay? Press that, okay? You can do gem refreshes manually here, of course. Or, well, uh, outside of entering a stage, rather. Um, but if you hit the left set, you can see all of your stamina items. Um, now you can see I have, um, now these units, uh, now when do you use uh, herbs? I just said herbs there, but stamina items. These all actually... Okay, work differently, and I'm going to, I'm going to have different qualifications for all of them, um, for when I want to use them. Uh, these temporary ones here. Now, these have 52 days left on them, so that's quite a bit. I'm actually not too worried about it, but um, I will use these at the first good thing that comes along. Um, I may have used some of these during double gold before. Um, uh, I would have used them, uh, I'll, I don't know if I'm going to use them during the double rank mats campaign, because we get triples sometimes. Um, I probably will use them towards the end of the event, um, or, I'll, you know, I'll be using them for awakenings at last minute on this event if I need to, um, on the S's and A, no, there's no A's, just the S's, um, but yeah, you know, you just want to... Especially when these things are down below a month. You know what's coming for the next week or two for the most part. So, um, use these uh, at a good opportunity. But there's usually enough time on them that you don't you don't need to be too 
Like, you know, you, you don't have to fly off the handle and use them right away because they're temporary. No. Um, now, the second item, okay, you can see this is not something you'll always have in the box, but uh, I'll get to that. The normal stamina herbs, okay, uh, these both give 50 stamina, okay. Um, these are, you know, permanent for the most part, but, but you can only stack up to 99 of them, okay, from what I understand. I've never tested it myself. From what I understand, they've not changed this cap. Uh, items and resources in this game do have caps, okay? And they have different caps. It's not always 99, of course. Some things go up to 999. Some things go up to 9999, okay? Um, the uh, gems, for example, they go up to 9999. I've been there, capped that one, okay? Um, this, though, okay, you will cap these if you stay for a while, but this is what you want to use on the good stuff, okay? Uh, triple rank campaigns, uh, double tomes events uh campaigns rather um you know what I, don't be afraid to use them last minute on awakenings uh the last day of an event or something you know maybe uh maybe you stretched yourself thin had a hard time farming okay don't be too afraid to use these to finish off events okay but save that for the last day um and then you see uh, this is not something that you'll usually have but um it is something i have in my box right now can i see okay uh, oh, yeah, you can see down at the bottom here. Uh, okay, um, so 50. Okay, 50. These items actually refer, uh, re refill 100 cinema. That's actually not why I value them differently, but it's nice. These, I'm not going to get any more of these. Probably ever, ever. I mean, <laughs> they might bring them back next year. I, I don't think these have been in the game. Temporary event-related uh, uh, stamina items like this that don't have an expiration date on them are significantly more valuable than your stamina herbs. Now you might end up using these on the same events. Okay. Uh, triple rank mats is the best we've gotten so far. I wouldn't imagine they're going to do better than that anytime soon. Um, so right now, if you have these in your box from doing the bride's banner, there's nothing worth spending these on right now, guys. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Okay. Um, but yeah, tri triple rank mats, that's probably what you'll spend them on. Um, honestly, I can't think of too much better than that. But like something just extraordinarily valuable, okay? Uh, other things that add value to when you're doing gems is having multiple uh, events at the same time. Uh, for example, right now, we had um, when we had double gold and double experience. While we had two uh, the golden sands and the DQ3 event. Now that's not the craziest thing, but... You know, if I had some temporary stamina herbs, I probably would have blown them then. Uh, I don't recall if I did or not. Um, but yeah, just um, don't don't blow them casually. And uh, I think just as important a lesson here is don't let these things stock up. You know, when these things are hitting 80 or 90, be careful when you accept them. And also, you know, be a little more casual with them, okay? Um, so anyway, I think that's uh, that's good. That's another 10 tips for new players. Advanced new player tips. Okay, how's that sound for you? Sorry, it's 33 minutes, kids. All right, good luck, uh, and I'll be back with more soon.